Alright guys, welcome back. Um, episode 40, actually, so that's cool. Um, I'm making some glass here. Because, oh, I don't remember what I showed you guys, but I put an enchanting room down here. Bruh. So, yeah. I think it's not, oh, I can take that down. The point of the glowstone is that I don't have to put a torch on the freaking wall. Because it just looks awful. I mean, it's like, oh yeah, I'll just stick this burning flame on my books. No big deal. And, uh, up here, I have started the minecart track. Just hop in, press the button, go along. It's not the safest thing at night. I didn't realize it was almost nighttime. Because they're, these tracks aren't exactly lit up. They will be, eventually, um, once I've actually got this enclosed. But right now, I'm working on getting the floor in all the way. Um, this, like, back there, originally I just had it three tracks, three powered tracks, to, um, to send you off, but this way, when you go over this thing, you hit the track, and then come all the way up here and stop, um, because before, I would come up, and the three would end, uh, like here, or here, or something on the other side, actually, let's just hop back in, there's a, a little, I'll come back and show you guys that thing. Um, because you would come in, and you would hit that ramp, and stop, and then trying to get off of the track while on the ramp would put your head through the block on top, and hurt. Oh, and I also did some changes to the inside. I don't remember if I showed you guys the um, the thing. Yeah, this is what it would do. <laughs> Sometimes that thing just glitches and it doesn't work properly, but uh, it would do that, and then it would you'd get injured trying to get out of the cart. So um. Instead, I thought it would be good if I... Alright, I put it on Moody. I don't know why, I was just bored and everything looked kind of weird on Bright. So I was like, let's try Moody for a minute. And then I decided to record almost immediately after. So, um, yeah, I put a little sign there. And, oh, I'll take that off. Um, so let's see, I'm going to sleep. But, uh, let's see, it's almost exactly... Uh, what is it? Oh, I can remember this. Come on. Um, I want to say... Five... No, two and a half stacks of w everything in that direction between this place and the other place. Um, so, when I hop up here... Because it's like each... Powered rail is 32 blocks apart. So this torch right here is 32 blocks from the building. And this torch is 32 blocks from that one, which is two chunks. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So, um, and it's again another 32 blocks to here. Um, and that makes. Let's see, I said it was 32 blocks between, which means each one is two chunks. And then there's, okay, so yeah, it's about 10 chunks between the two. And um, I did get better doors installed here. So it does push up two blocks there. Um, I'll come down here and show you how it works. Um, you know, this is probably not the best one to do because I've installed it on my farm and my um, and my mine as well. Uh, I can't do it on my on my home because the enchanting room is underneath, so it's directly underneath the door, so I can't do that. But yeah, um, how it works is the power comes in from this row up here. Hold on. The power comes in from here because the torch is, I mean the the lever is up above above this block, so the power comes in down there, and I almost just punched off that redstone, um, and powers this torch, or flips through this torch, so that way when it's off, the door is by default open, or no, when it's it's by default closed, so that way when you pull the lever, the, the door opens. Um, 
and it comes down here and powers these repeaters, which both power opposite sides. This is just two um, copies of one thing. Like we have, it's a double piston ex extender thing. So um, basically what it does is uh, pretend that there's a divider right down the middle here, because I just flipped it and put it on the other side and it works perfectly fine, but you need to power both sides. Um, so I've got this thing coming across to power this and because this is actually the wall that goes up against my, like, on the direct other side of this wall is where my spiders are coming up. So I had very limited space on this one. Um, because I didn't think to put it out in the desert part. I, I just put it under here for some reason. Um, so what it does is the power comes in here and, I, well, actually, I'm not really sure on what it does, but I'll just show you what I think I know. Um, this repeater has the shortest delay because I'll just get rid of this because it doesn't really matter right now. See, this repeater has two and four, so this is six delay, this one is one delay, and this one is three delay. So the power comes in here and turns out, well, actually, this might be four delay if that torch counts as one. I don't remember. But anyway, so this one comes through here and powers this block, which powers the redstone here, which powers this. So if I were to flip the switch right now, um, the first thing that would happen is this block would get power, um, which doesn't, which would flip this off, so that one up there would turn off. So it pulls down the top one. And then, um, the next thing that would happen is this one would lose power. Uh, or no, next thing that would happen would be, yeah, this one would lose power, which means the bottom piston would lose power. So, um, it would pull in. And then this torch would turn on at the same time. So as soon as this block, this piston gets pulled down, it extends. Um, and then, after a very short delay, these ones feed back into that block. So that while that one up there, uh, just after it extends, it gets pulled back, it gets retracted again, because that torch will turn off when this side powers it. So that way it goes up and then down really quickly, but um, because that one will be up when this one gets powered, um, it can't uh, it can't extend because the one will be powered above it, and then when it loses power or when um, the top one retracts again, it just doesn't realize that it's supposed to be powered again. So yeah, and then it's the exact same thing, just reversed on the other side. If that made any sense to you, then awesome. I'll do a redstone tutorial someday. Um, let's see, I went down and I grabbed a bunch of nether brick and then almost died. A co or I did die a bunch of times in the nether because I was like level 30 or something and then I died twice building that tower and lost all of it and then died like 10 times in the nether. So I used up all of my stone, trying to, all of my sand trying to make glass. Actually, my sand is down here. Um, which I'll take that. And that. Because <laughs> I need more. Yeah, so spider trap's working all right. I had to fix some stuff before, and it it works all right now. But I don't know. I'm not very happy with it just because it it hasn't ever worked very well. Um, let's see. What else did I want to show you guys? There was this thing, which you know I put in the nice glass things just because I can. Eventually, this will continue going in that direction. But I just wanted to stop here for now. Um, hopefully the thing will work right when we get there, so that I don't have to get out of the cart beforehand. Because normally it works perfectly fine. Like, I'll just ride in and it stops just as I get up to the, um, to the, where the button is, or where the stopper is. Like, because see, this, this pressure plate is supposed to last just long enough for me to get to this block. Um, and that's why I made it so long. Because I used to have it just extend to here, and that was fine, but it wouldn't pick me up when I, it wouldn't count that there was power coming from that detector rail if it was here. So I had to move it here, and then I would come up and hit this thing and bounce off onto this block, and then when I press the button I wouldn't move. So this way it puts me here so I can just hop out and walk away, and then when I come back I can just hop in and press the button again. Oop. Hop in and press the button again. And it works fine. Um, and once every 32 blocks seems to keep me going at a relatively nice speed. It may not be max speed, but it's it's a good speed for how efficient it is, because that means that one set of powered rails lets me go like 12 chunks. So, 
I think it's pretty good. As long as I don't go uphill, it works perfectly fine. Um, let's see, I haven't done much. I had to go back for a bunch of sand, and I've already turned it all into glass. So, because that up there that I've done so far was four stacks, which means one more, or two more stacks should, one more stack should bring me all the way back up to here. Um, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, oh, okay, I'll explain it next time. Uh, uh, no, I won't. That right there is my new logo, I guess. Um, I'm just using the circle with the lines on either end. I don't know if you noticed, but it's in the ceiling at my, um, my storage room. It's up in the glass out of nether brick. So, yeah, I'll show you that next time. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.